The calf in the tennis athlete, or really that entire lower section of the lower limb, uh, is an area that gets a lot of interest because we know that tennis players change direction anywhere between three and 500 times per match, sometimes more than that in long, hard training sessions. So every time we change direction, our calf has to work excessively hard to account for that, put pressure into the ground, and then respond by the energy that comes up through the calf that transfer it up through the body. Conditioning that area, so getting a lot of uh, muscular contractions in that area, can be really beneficial and can really help with some of these common issues that we see as a tennis player ages. So the calf takes a lot of beating in tennis athletes and we want to do everything possible to help and quicken that recovery process. So we're going to start with our pads and we're going to start with our A pads first. We're going to position it just below the knee, the top of the calf with one of the pads. Then we have a couple options of where to put our pad placement at the foot. Uh, we can either use the heel, which is right here, or you can actually use the arch of the foot as well. So I'm gonna uh, show a position here where we utilize the heel. And again, this allows us for a current to run all the way down the calf through the heel. We're gonna do the exact same uh, pad position on our B signal on the left leg. And then we're gonna position the last pad at the heel. So now we have a nice symmetrical setup between calf and heel. We're gonna pick up the Mark Pro and set our low frequency for both A and B. We're gonna start at approximately four on the intensity scale and we see how the athlete responds. As we can see, we're not getting a lot of muscle contraction yet, so we work our way up and, and we position it so we start seeing some good muscle contraction and we leave this on for between 30 to 45 minutes. And this is a great tool to help with the recovery, specifically in the calf region.